Hello guys, today I want to show you how to create your own custom input or custom table column which is not provided by filament. For example, if you have text inputs here and there, but you need some extra text input with some extra settings. For example, down below you see two inputs but with dollar sign as a prefix. And of course you can do that by doing text input and then prefix in both of those cases. But what if your project requires a lot of such text inputs with prefix of currency? You can create your own custom input extending the text input of filament. Let me show you. By the way, this comes from the source of this filament plugin, accounting. So I searched on its GitHub and found this thing, money input. So here's the same resource in my PHP Storm. I'm browsing vendor folder, by the way, but it would be the same in your app folder in filament. So text input, regular text inputs. And then down below, you see a repeater for money input and then another money input. What is that? It's a component which you may create actually in any namespace in your app folder that extends text input from filament. That text input is here above and then below you override whatever you want to override from the base text input. So in this case, setup, parent setup. This is very important to not break anything. And then you add whatever you want down below prefix, numeric, and even you may create specific methods in your component. For example, prefix is dynamic, provided by the method in the same component down below. There's currency code and then there's get currency symbol with a lot of logic where that symbol comes from. From currency code, from database, within the settings, also from the database within the currency first, and then there's fallback to dollar sign as the last resort. And then that money input is used in the same project in inventory resource, bill resource, currency resource, invoice resource, and payment resource. So reusability is the key here. If you repeat the same settings for text input in many places of your project, not necessarily text input, whatever component of filament, you may create a separate component. Similarly, if you have table columns with specific behavior that is repeating in other tables, like for example, dollar sign here in the same project, you can create your own column, especially if that column has a lot of logic that for example is repeating. And guess what? There's money column in the table function. If we click, we have money column with again, similar methods of currency code and get currency and set up in this case down below filament has a special method money, but you can provide the currency with your custom method that would be inside of your custom column. What do you think about it? Have you ever needed to create custom column or custom input? Share your experience in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.